All right, welcome back. No more room for nonsense as a farmer shot dead her header for grazing on his farmland. All right, the news in details. All right, my people, yes, it has now gotten to the level by which farmers are now going to their farm with gun. This is to tell you that there's no more room for mediocrity. All right, with what is gathered here, an Illinois magistrate court on Wednesday ordered that a farmer, Shegun Adebayo, who allegedly shot an 18 year old Eda to death, be remanded in Okekura Correctional Center. All right, until this magistrate Ibrahim Dasuki, who gave the order, adjourned the case until June 22nd for further mention. Earlier, the prosecution counsel, Inspector Zakios Folonsho, told the court that the deceased brother, Mohammed Adamu, reported the matter at the police station when his brother failed to return from tending to the Akato. He said that Adebayo confessed at police station that he shot the Eda because he was grazing on his farm. Folonsho said that the defendant confessed further that he shot the 18 year old to death and tried to cancel and tried to conceal the cops. All right, and then he prayed that the court to remand the defendant on the basis that his offense was not ordinarily belabored. All right, and then. The defendant, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. Okay, until this, and uh, it has shown that the offense was not ordinarily bail able. All right, and then as it is, majority of people have been like, wow. Even at the end of it all, the defendant, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. All right, my people, this one is another serious one. And then as it is, it has not shown to us that now the farmers have taken it upon themselves this time around, blood for blood. <laughs> hey, that's serious. Blood for blood, according to Mazi Nam de Kano. Well, until this, it has been said that farmers shoot 18-year-old Edas, 18-year-old S-man, rather, to death for grazing on his farm. All right, onto this majority of people have actually reacted to this, okay? And then, as it is, it has been said by guests that well, I give kudos to the farmer. He is a real and a courageous man. He will be released. He has no case. It's just farmers' elders clash, according to the federal government. All right, and then, as it is, Ulu Yemi Akin said that well, they are defending themselves. I think I, I think he was faster. If it was the farmer that was killed, what would have been the case? And that's another one. All right. And then as it is, according to an anonymous person unto this, he said, Well, when you destroy the farmer's crop, that is his life you are destroying. The Fulani young Eda are the most senseless here in the East. They do not only take their cows to the farm. They intentionally uproot cassavas for their cows. If you've experienced their wanton destruction of your sweat, you will want to do what that man did. Hmm, that's serious. Well, my people, I think uh, the farmers on this you no know, level right now have taken it upon themselves that no more room for mediocrity. Yes. Now, I, with what we have has gathered right now, it has been gathered, it has shown that most of all these farmers right now, they have seen it that, oh, if we say we should keep waiting for the government, my brother, many of us go buy, voice me, go be our reward. So now they have now like, we don't need to wait for any Governor Makinde in your state who is waiting for the federal government to give him license before he can give out 
sophisticated weapons to security operatives in all your state now the elders uh, the farmers have now no woken up they have put it upon themselves that this time around there's no room for sleeping no slumbering any header we found on our farmland will be shot to death this time around <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness it's not funny but i think this is another way to you know do the needful and now the governor of you no know, benue state has already said it that everybody must have a weapon when the fulani man is coming with his own his own cutlass and coming with his own ak-47 and when they remember that even you yourself you have ak-49 they will have a rethink that no 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 no. this is a, a deadly mission so we should not come back <laughs> oh my goodness all right and then onto this it has been said that this farmer who had spent a lot of money on his farmland angrily shot this edda for grazing on his farmland my brother this thing, this thing is not easy at all you know this set of people have taken it upon themselves and then they have you no know, done worse and this time around these people are now the farmers are now like if we say we should go and be reporting them to the police this same set of police people will still arrest us for even bringing arresting them take bringing them to them they will still arrest us so it's better we all do the needful ourselves and then this is what we are saying right now all right and the majority of people have said it that well if every farmer has a ak-47 then every other elder will remember that ah among all those boys they don't get gone oh. then from there they will flee they will not even tamper they will respect themselves but simply because they have seen it that mm, all these people with our weapon and everything we can intimidate them when they see us with our ak-47 they will even run and leave their land for us so don't worry we have it we have sponsors that will give us enough sophisticated guns to destroy these people even on their own land they're not rich god punish them and that has been the you know the way this set of fulani had been you no know, demonstrating and uh, misbehaving cheating people on their own property and then this time around god has you no know, woke on this set of farmers god has opened their eyes and i think they are no longer slumbering yes they have woken from their slumber all right and as it is majority of people are so happy with the situation on grant and what more can we say my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless